What's up people, welcome to the number one channel in East and Central Africa that brings you great and epic motorcycle content many have come to love. If you're new here, hello, welcome, grab a seat and enjoy and while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel more than you know and guess what, it's for free. So the last couple of weeks I've been thinking lately about the future and what it holds for me. We are growing steadily and it's been tough, a bit tough, uh, to be honest, creating content. Uh, not that I'm complaining or anything. Instead, I am so grateful for your support and your good words that you guys have been giving me. It's a real motivation uh, for me to continue pushing on. I've also been thinking majorly about selling my bike. Well, I've had it for well over six months and it has taught me a great deal of things. I've had some tough days, but mostly uh, all of them were uh, been good uh, the occasional nodding of the head and the flashing of lights or even the two finger sign has brought nothing but joy to me whenever i come across another rider now being stranded by the roadside after overestimating the level of fuel left in my bike only for it to run out and thus being forced to push that heavy machine to the nearest petrol station then sometimes the big bill of repair or maintenance check especially in some garages um, I won't mention names, but of course, all of us knows uh, who I am talking about. Also, that in that case, which burns a big hole in your wallet, making you cut some pleasures. Well, because, well, like all of us, we all love our bikes. So we'd like it to rather we love them to be on in tip top shape and in running order now the joys of going for randoms with friends or even going alone on a trip to god knows where and the sense of freedom and adventure the people i've met along the way i swear that the one of the best people that i have and the rev bombing of crazy to crazy cages and some few bad border border guys and I know I'm going all round and round and round, but what I'm trying to say is I'm really glad that I made the decision to swing my leg over these supposedly death machines on two wheels. Now we've lost some dear friends along the way, but that's how life is. Always pray before you get on the saddle. God God protects us all. Uh, that's one thing that I do every time that I get on the bike. Now I felt like it's time for me to let uh, to let my first love go. She's been the best thing that has ever happened to me, and it's sad that I have to sell her. Now this video is always that it's mostly dedicated to her. Um, so guys, I am selling my Benelli TNT 150. It's a 150 cc single cylinder four stroke engine that is air cooled. It has around 9,200 kilometers on the clock as of making of this video, and uh here are some of the things that I have done for it. It has an M4 exhaust slip-on. I have installed new foot pegs and new pillion pegs. The bike has a new block, new valves and seals, and a new piston rings. Reason being, it was smoking a lot uh, a few weeks back, and I thought, why not just change the whole thing over? So, for you guys wondering, I, uh, I have opened the engine up. The bike was previously abused, and it has really come a long way, uh, and I've also spent quite a lot trying to bring it up the way it is i know i can sell it a bit way more but i know this being a beginner bike i i really don't want to sell it for that much so the bike does run smoothly without fail it has a new digital cluster gauge um the previous one like i mentioned got damaged uh hence the swap it read it read uh, it reads perfectly. I've I've, I've given a review uh, about the, that very specific um, digital speedometer. If you haven't seen, I will post a link. Uh, rather, I will post that small exclamation mark to suggest you if you haven't watched it. Um, it does indicate well the gears, the speed, also the rev range. It also has a mudguard installed, and also I did install a big um, or rather bigger uh, rear tire. It's a 140, which is mostly used on the benelli tnt 250 so it gives you that it has a wider base um, for giving you that stability and that um, comfort whenever you are over stretch roads even when you are turning in corners um, also the amount of price that i'm asking um, i'm asking for 125,000 kenya shillings uh, which is negotiable um, if you're interested, if you'd like to see the bike in person, I am in, within Nairobi. And if you'd wish to contact me, my number is on the About tab of my YouTube page. Now, a lot of guys have been asking me um, to sell it for 100,000 Kenya shillings. Well, it's a bit little uh, considering the amount of work that I've done on that bike. So if you have better offers, I am all ears. The bike is still there. Um, it's uh, I guess it will be on who 
gives out or rather who has the the highest bidding i guess i don't know i'm still trying to sort out uh all the issues the papers are in order the bike is kenyan registered um i have the logbook with me i have all the papers with me or uh, the insurance so we can go over everything that is required um for the for me to sell this bike to you now remember this guys is uh you guys have seen this bike on my youtube channel i it's there anything that you want to know about the bike is there that's why i'm putting it out to make it easier for you guys instead of uh me answering a lot of questions i can just send you a link to to basically my youtube channel so you can see everything that i've done on this bike now this all this that's all i had for this video if you liked it hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already stay safe ride safe and i will see you in the next one peace